Now, pilots have reported encounters for years. Now, because of the stigma around reporting these incidents, we still don't have a complete picture of actually what's going on, particularly as your witnesses will testify on the civilian side, and that is a real problem that we have today in the country. Now, it's very important that we show that Democrats and Republicans in Congress can come together in a bipartisan way to cut through misinformation and to look at the facts in a serious and thoughtful manner. If we are to advance oversight and public disclosure, we must also gain the broad support of the public. We will succeed getting facts out to the public faster if there is a broad public support as part of the process. Now, I understand fully the Department of Defense is hesitant to share information that could also undermine our national security by revealing information on the capabilities of our own aircraft, our sensors, and other sensitive material. At the same time, many people believe that we're withholding information from them, and that is dangerous also. I believe in openness and transparency. That is also the role of Congress. And I want to trust that the American people will be able to weigh the evidence and make up their own minds. Now, we have incidents where sensors, sometimes even multiple types of sensors, detect things that we cannot explain. UAPs, whatever they may be, may pose a serious threat to our military or civilian aircraft, and that must be understood. Now, my career and training as a longtime and career educator and teacher and researcher tell me that we should never rule anything out. We know that our space, of course, is vast and undiscovered. I also want to note that Mr. Sean Kirkpatrick, director of the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, the component of the DOD office that investigates UAP data, has testified before the Senate this year that his unit has found no evidence of extraterrestrial activity. NASA has also stated that they don't have evidence of extraterrestrial life either, and we've heard this, of course, from some of our government agencies. And we should remind viewers and witnesses, which I think is really important, that we also cannot share classified information in public settings. But questions, of course, remain that people want to see data and information for themselves. The enormous interest in the hearing today underscores the importance of a fair and open look at the evidence from witnesses who can share their unique perspectives. Now, I know I certainly have a lot of questions, and I know that all the members of our committee do as well. We should come to this hearing with an open mind, and we should not let our existing ideas restrict us on either side. I hear over and over from many agencies the stigma around reporting and investigating UAPs prevents us from getting real answers. We know that whistleblowers have reported harassment, intimidation, or stigma as well, and this is not acceptable. If people can't report incidents which would have national security or safety implications, then that also has serious consequences for us. As ranking member of this subcommittee, I know, it's my, I know my job would be completely impossible if whistleblowers or others feel intimidated to come before this committee. We can't be afraid of asking questions, and we can't be afraid of the truth. I'm proud to say that this, that this hearing builds upon bipartisan work by members of the House and Senate dating many years back, which has sought to increase awareness within the Department of Defense and, more, and to mandate more of Congress of UAPs. We know the Senate is taking up an amendment to their defense authorization bill, which will create a commission with broad declassification authority, and we can all, should all agree that that is an important step. Members of both parties and senior officials in multiple administrations have taken an interest in this issue, and we're proud to carry and build that confidence in the American people. This hearing will also not be the end of this discussion, but a new chapter and start to years and years of work that many folks, both in, both in the public and within government, have been working on. We should encourage more reporting, not less, on UAPs. The more they under, we understand, the safer we will be. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.